So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing extremely well and this is a very one mass code on this side. So today's problem is grade to binary equivalent and trust me it is a very interesting problem, right? So it was new for me also. So let us see what does the problem say. The problem says given an integer n, we have been provided with a number n, which is the decibel representation of gray code. We have been something unique as gray code, right? Find the binary equivalent of the gray code and return the decimal representation of the binary equivalent. I am repeating, find the binary equivalent of the gray code and return the decimal representation of the binary equivalent. So what is happening is, gray code is actually a representation of uh, representing numbers, right? So actually there is a binary representation, there is a hexadecimal representation, so something sort of that is gray code you can understand what is the use case of gray code etc etc and there are links provided that how can you convert a binary to gray code binary to gray code there's a proper mechanism we will be studying about that so the question says that you have been provided with an n let's suppose your n is 4 your n is 4 right your n is 4 now what is the binary of 4 it is 1 double 0 everybody knows about that right now, if I want to convert this into my gray code, if I convert this into my gray code, what will that binary be looking like? Suppose if I convert this into my gray code, I'm telling you uh, pre uh, pre explaining the uh, gray code for uh, double uh, one double zero is one one one. What is this binary number? This is seven. So my answer will be seven for this. Now let us see how to convert a binary number into a gray uh, a binary conversion into gray binary to gray right okay so suppose the number provided to me is 10 what is the binary representation of 10 I am sure that you all of you know binary form of 10 is 1010 right now I want to convert this 1010 into the gray the problem says the number of bits in the 1010 uh, are going to be same as gray so number of bits is remaining to be four okay now how should i proceed the first step says msb remains same what is the msb msb is the leftmost bit so one remains one okay now for the remaining sequence for the remaining gray sequence to be precise gray of i is equals to gray of i minus 1 xor with s of i let us say this is s so it is gray of i minus 1 that is this value with s of i that is this value so this will be 1 zor 0 that is 1 because they are different so zor will convert them into 1 and if they were identical zor will convert them into 0 1 now for this this will be this value and this value so 1 zor 1 which is 0 and for this, this will be 0 and 0. So 0, 0, 0 is again 0. So my gray code is actually 1, 1, 0, 0. What is the binary form? Or what is the decimal form of this? It is 0, 1, 2, 3. So it is 2 to the power 3 plus 2 to the power 2. That is 8 plus 4. That is 12. And my answer to the question will be 12. My gray code is actually representing 12. Okay. Similarly, if... I am provided with 4 as input. What will I do? I will convert the into the gray code. 1, 2, 3. I will copy the MSB. I will say 1, 0, or 1. That is 1. Now, 0, or 1. That is 1. So, my gray code is 1, 1, 1. And 1, 1, 1 is represented as 7 in binary. So, my answer will be 7. Hope you are clear. Hope you are clear. What did we do? What did we do? First, from the number, we converted it to the binary. From this binary, we converted this into the gray, and from this gray, we converted it into the decimal. Right? Three steps. Three steps. What are the three steps? N to binary. How many uh, corporations will it take? So we know n is a 32 bit integer, so it will take at least, uh, at most, 32 operations. Second, binary to gray. How many operations will it take? Okay, 32 operations here, the so maximum 32 operations here. Now, a point of note is, suppose this is a number 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. If I convert this into the gray, what will be the answer? 0, 
so 0 1 0 1 0 right so this will be zeros or zero there is zero zeros or one that is one zeros or one is one and then uh, again zeros or one that is one again so you can see you can see zeros or zero this zero remains same this zero remains same this zeros or one is one one zeros or one is one again and then and the third step is to convert this gray code into decimal again how many operations is max 32 operations at max okay so let us continue how should we solve this problem and then we will actually be coding it down so here is a coding area what i will do is i will convert a string into the binary so string let us name it as b it is empty string at first right now it is going to 32 places so what i am doing is for int i going from 0 up till 31 that are 32 elements right i plus plus whatever i do to convert this into the string form i will use the operation of right uh, left shift what i will do if n and 1 right, left shifted by i position is it, is it turning 1 in that case binary equals to 1 plus b right else binary equals to 0 plus b so what i am doing is what i am doing here is suppose my number is 1010 right this is my number in 10 right this is 10 represented as 10 i want to from this i want to from this from 10 what i will do is i will say this is position 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so on right what i will say if i if I have 1 and I right shift it by 0 position, it will remain 1. If 0 and 1 are giving me 1, 0 and, and of 1, that is 0 and 1, it will be 1. Otherwise, it will be 0. Then, left shift by 1 position. So, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. So, this is actually the representation of, this is the way to get the binary string from a decimal. You can remember it for further purposes also. After this operation, I have got my binary string, right? I have got my binary string. Now, as you remember, I can I can convert 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0 into the gray, or I can just convert 1, 0, 0 into the gray. I can remove the unnecessary zeros in the starting. So what, what I will do is int idx equals to minus 1 at starting. Now for int i going from 0, i less than equals 31, i plus plus. Oh, sorry. If b of i equals to equals to 1 in that case idx equals to i and then break and my i becomes oh sorry my string s becomes b equals to b dot sub str from your index i up till the last i idx up till 32 minus idx which is the length 32 okay this is my current string that is the shortest binary representation of the number n now I will convert it into the string G, which is my gray code. The string G will be initially equals to G plus equals to B of 0 because MSB remains same. And for the rest of the operation, that is for int i going from 1, i up till equals to G dot length, oh, a B dot length, sorry, binary dot length, i plus plus. What will I do is, I will just store the previous also. So int a equals to b0 minus 0. Now if, sorry, int x equals to bi minus 0. If a xor x, in that case, g equals to g plus 1 and a becomes 1. Else, g equals to g plus 0 and a becomes 0 for the next operations right after this i will get my g and i just have to convert this into a decimal which is 
a very 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 easy task so what i would say int answer equals to zero for int i going from zero i less than equals to g dot length i plus plus what will i do is answer equals to answer plus two or oh, answer star two plus g of i minus zero right so let us run in it run it run it in so you can see we have completed a 118 day streak and hope you like the video hope you are able to grasp the concept right and thank you for watching we will meet tomorrow with a new question and a new energy thank you for watching have a nice day